This is my mom's passport. It has no stamps on it. It's never been used. She died in December of 2019 at age 73. It's not that she didn't have time to go anywhere. She did. But she lived her life full of fear, anxiety, low self-esteem and depression. I guess you could say she had a fear of fears. I don't really have many photographs of her because she didn't like getting her photograph taken. Nor do I have any videos. She always believed that one day the doctors would tell her that she had cancer, even though she was completely healthy. But then that day came. It was like she willed the illness on herself. And then she waited again for the day that she would die. Fear, anxiety and depression can really cripple a person. From a young age, I have suffered and lived with these fears. In a worldwide survey, it was found that 40% of people can suffer from some form of anxiety and depression within a 12-month period. That's up to 1 billion people worldwide. And almost 10% of children between the ages of 3 and 17 can also be diagnosed. 15 to 20% of adults regularly procrastinate, and an estimated 80 to 95% of college students procrastinate on some level, with 50% considering it a problem. People who procrastinate tend to have high levels of anxiety as well as poor impulse control. Procrastination is even linked to physical illness. Several studies have linked procrastination to depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem, and even ADHD. We have a huge problem in the world today. We are afraid to live our lives. Fear stops you from living your life. You're not afraid of the dark, you're afraid of what's in it. You're not afraid of heights, you're afraid of falling. You're not afraid of people around you, you're afraid of rejection. You're not afraid of flying, you're afraid of crashing. You're not afraid of love, you're afraid of not being loved back. You're not afraid to let go, you're afraid to accept that it's over. You're not afraid to try again, you're afraid of failing again. In the end, you're just afraid of being afraid. Fear does not stop death, fear stops you living. A few years back, I took the decision to change my life. Um, I'd suffered from depression and anxiety for many years and also coming close to taking my own life. But I decided I was going to take my life back again. I decided to get as far away from the negative headspace that I was in. So I sought help in counselling, medication and practising self-love. Then I started to do exercise. I started on meditation and yoga. Then I also started to dress and style myself how I wanted to, not how society wanted me to or told me that I should. I think my friends and family at the time thought that I was gone completely mad, <laughs> that I was going through like a midlife crisis or something like that. You see, at the end of the day, there's no one, and I mean no one, going to get in that grave with you, only you. The biggest killer in the world today is self-doubt. Self-doubt is the serial killer of dreams. 30,295. 30,295. So what does that number mean to you? Well, the average life expectancy in Ireland today is 83 years old. That's 30,000 295 days from the day that you were born. Let that sink in. I'm 52 years young, and that's 18,980 days that I will never, ever get back. Have a think about that. You will never, ever get those days back again. Which means that I could have 11,315 days left. But, I've decided that I'm going to live to 103. I've got that in my head and nothing's going to change it. 
Live each day like it's going to be your last day on earth because it may be your last day. Hi, Mom. We really miss you. Thank you for the lessons in life. Here's what I have learned. A journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. Not everyone will understand your journey, but that's okay. They only need to understand their journey, not yours. Success is not the end. Failure is not the end. The courage to continue is what counts. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of success. Be so busy enjoying life that you don't have time to criticize other people. Push yourself to succeed and be happy because no one else is going to do that for you. Today is your opportunity to build a better future for you. Every morning is a chance for a better you and a better life. Every day may not be good, but there is good in every day. If you think the same way you've always thought, then you'll always have the same result. Your journey is going to be hard, but hard doesn't mean that it's going to have to be impossible. The key to your success is to focus on the goals, not the obstacles that are in front of you. Trust yourself that you can make it happen. A positive mind looks for ways that it can be done. A negative mind will tell you why it cannot be done. Remember, peace is the best journey and happiness is the best destination. The quickest way to change your life is to, well, change your life. It's that simple. The most powerful muscle in the human body is the six inches between your ears. It's very, very easy for us to take a negative thought and make it snowball, but it's so hard for us to do the same thing with a positive thought. Be kind to yourself and practice self-love. Everybody dies, but not everybody lives.